Hi everybody, my name is Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. And in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at how we can browse the assets of some of these twin motion libraries that are available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace for use in our Unreal Engine projects. So if I uh, do a search here for twin motion, then I'll get these uh, free asset packs uh, showing up. And obviously I've acquired quite a few of them. And I'm going to take a look at this uh, chairs and tables uh, set as an example for this. So there's quite a few nice little chairs and, and different tables and such available in this pack. So I can click the add to project button and I've already done that. So if I switch over to Unreal Engine, here is my project. And if I go into tables and chairs, you can see that this folder is here and there's more folders inside. Here's a couple examples of assets. So let me select these and delete them out of my level and go through the process of trying to add these because it sounds like that should be easy enough. And if I go into this folder called chairs and tables, I see there's a folder called chairs and then a separate table called tables. And if I go in there, then I've just got lots more folders and then double click there. And finally I see a chair, but I can't see all the chairs at once. I have to look at folders. It's difficult to browse this set. And of course I've got a separate set of folders just for the tables. So uh, there must be a better way to do this. And of course, with Unreal Engine, there's a few of them. Uh, one of them is to go and activate the actor palette tools. So if we go to edit and plugins, and then in plugins search for actor, then one of the options we have available is the actor palette. It's a beta, but it works fine. Uh, we can check it to activate it. And when you uh, activate it, you'll have to uh, click a little restart on real button so that that uh, piece of software gets loaded into the engine to be used in editor. So I've got this activated. So as a result of that in Unreal Engine 5.3, I can go to the tools menu, choose actor palette and uh, open up an actor palette. Now, the first time you open this, it'll just have a choose level button. So that would let us choose any level in our project and, and use that as a actor palette to browse through. And uh, I've used this before, of course, so uh, clicking open last level will open that. But let's just go through the process of choosing a level. If I look at my tables and chairs pack, I've got a levels folder and there's a level called overview. So choosing level, I can just start typing in the letters for overview and it pops up. Now, if I had several libraries loaded and every single one of them had a, a level called overview, they would all be listed here, but I could hover my mouse over it and with the pop-up path, I could see, okay, well, this is the overview that's in chairs and tables pack. So I'll select overview and that opens up that level. And then anything I see here can be uh, clicked, dragged and dropped into the level. So if I'll go over here and uh, let's just select a chair. I'll tap F to kind of, well, tapping F doesn't really seem to do anything. So I'll just use my mouse wheel to zoom in and uh, I'll just click and drag and there we go. There's the chair and click on release and so now that chair is in my level I can pan over here and look at the tables uh, i can use this crate as a table click to select click and drag to drop it in and it's a pallet of wood that i guess is supposed to be a uh, coffee table so that's one option i can close this and i actually prefer a different option because that um, has a little bit of overhead opening up a viewport into a level so i'll select these two and delete them and instead i'm just going to use the content browser so i've entered into the folder for the chairs and table pack and what i'm going to just do is filter on static mesh because i know all of these assets are static meshes so i can click on my filter button and come up here to static mesh and when i check on this what i have in my content browser now is only the static meshes within the chairs and tables pack and so I can see all of those chairs and tables. I have little thumbnails for each one. And if I really like this interesting table, I can just drag it out and there it is. And scrolling up, there's lots of chairs to choose from. And so uh, let's see if I can find something that uh, kind of goes with this table. And I'll just uh, click on this one and drag that out. And so there we go. So now I've got a chair and table. So there you go. There's two different ways of browsing through uh, assets packs uh, very easily. I prefer the filter version, but uh, again, you can go ahead and use the actor palette as an alternative. Hope this helps. And until next time, have fun.